What's going on? It's Better Body Andy here, and uh, I just finished my workout, so I wanted to make a, an update because it's been about a week here. I just did today chest, shoulders, and triceps. I'm going to be honest with you, I honestly have absolutely no idea where I am. I need to look at the days and figure out where I am in my P90X Reloaded because the past like two to three weeks have just been you know, up and down, things that I was bringing together and then it fell apart and then I brought it back together. Just, it's been up and down and what I want to talk about today is, is basically something, a realization that I already knew but I came to in my own life so I'm going to share the message with you. And by the way, I actually I did an apricorex also to follow the workout. But the reason I want to bring this message to you is because I, I think this is very powerful and it will be powerful for you as it is for me in my own life. And it really has to do with you taking action in your own life and, and getting your stuff done basically. But, you know, I noticed today, for example, you know, my numbers were just not that good. I'm, I'm not feeling as good as I did a couple weeks ago simply because I've been missing workouts. I haven't been following a consistent schedule and my diet went to crap. Not that I've been eating a lot of, like, you know, ice cream, sugars, and candies like that, but I just haven't been eating a consistent diet. It's been, you know, sometimes I'll go several hours, you know, half a day without eating, and then other times I'll eat a bunch at once, like my portions are off. I'm still eating relatively healthy, but just not, it's not perfect as it should be. So I'm working on that, but the realization that I came to today was I, I kind of stepped back and looked at my life basically, where I'm at, what I'm doing, and why my workouts have been falling apart, and why I haven't been sticking to the schedule. And this is what I came to a realization of. Now we all know that working out in the morning is usually the, the best idea, because you, you wake up, you're fresh, you get it done, bing, bam, boom, it's done, it's out of the way, and you have the rest of your day to, to just do stuff and not worry about it, because if you, you'll find that if you drag your workouts out throughout the day, and if you don't do them, you keep pushing them off, what's gonna happen is you keep pushing it at the end of the day, and either you end up doing a really late workout, or you miss it all together because you want to go out with friends, you want to go out with family, you want to do something later at night, you're tired, you're feeling a little bit more lazy, the sun's gone, you're just not feeling energetic. So therefore you don't get it done. The best thing to do is to get up in the morning as soon as you can and get it done and just you're, you'll feel great for the rest of the day. And we all know this, it's, but it, it's a lot easier to say it than do it. I find a lot of motivation at nighttime, right before I go to bed, I'm laying there going, okay, I'm going to get up, I'm going to get it done, I'm going to wake right up, put my shoes on, you know, start going, and then I, you know, I go to bed, I wake up, and then I'm just, uh, you know, dragging, not awake, and not ready for it. So then I start, you know, doing stuff, and this is what happens. I, I look back, and really, I do almost the same cycle every single day. So I've actually been able to look back, pin it down, and realize my faults. And uh, today, I'm actually taking action on it, I'm really doing something about it, which is what you need to do in your life. And what I noticed was, okay, I wake up, I'm groggy in the morning, I'm stumbling around, so, you know, I don't quite feel like working out, because I'm just, you know, you're lazy, you just don't feel like doing it, for anybody that's not a morning person. And I wake up, and I'm just, you know, thinking, eh, well, okay, I'll get a coffee. So I get a coffee, and then I, you know, I wake up, get a little caffeine buzz, and I'm more or less up and ready to go, but now I'm sitting and usually watching TV, or just, you know, doing stuff to kind of wake up while I drink my coffee, and from that point, I'm like, well, I'm a little bit hungry, okay, well, I'm going to eat breakfast. So I eat breakfast. Then I think to myself, okay, cool, I just ate, uh, I guess I shouldn't work out right away, I should wait. I'll wait about an hour. Well, what happens then is I start doing other things. I start doing stuff on my computer, things come up, I start doing things. And so then an hour turns into two hours, three hours, and I start doing other things, and I'm like, well, I'll work out at two. Okay, I'll do this, and I'll send two rolls around, now it's three o'clock. Oh, crap, well, okay, well, I'll work out at four, and then something comes up at three or four, and I'm doing that. And you notice there's a cycle where you keep just pushing it off. And then all of a sudden, here it is, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, and I'm just like, oh, well, holy crap, I haven't done my workout. So I do my workout. Then it's, you know, midnight, it's 12.30, it's 1 in the morning. I've done a workout, awesome, I got it done, but now it's late at night, and now I'm wide awake, because when you do a workout, you get the blood flow going, you bring a lot of oxygen to your body, and you're ready to go. So now it's, you know, almost 1 in the morning, and I'm wide awake. So, you know, I take a shower or whatever and try to go to bed or something and I'm laying there and I'm staring at the ceiling, you know, whatever. And now uh, 2 o'clock comes in the morning and I'm still wide awake and then, you know, somewhere between 2 and 3 I pass out, which is why I can't wake up in the morning because I'm not going to bed at a decent time. So you'll notice it's just a continuous cycle. So then I wake up the next morning and repeat and you see how it works out and then you just keep getting yourself, yourself into a cycle has nothing to do with anybody else or anything else. It is simply you. You are the one that is 
holding yourself back. You are the one that's not doing your workout. And that's where I realized in my life, I am the one that's not doing anything. I'm the one that's making myself miss my workouts and I'm the one that's not getting up and getting it done in the morning. So here I am, I, I just, I really just was thinking about that a lot the past couple days and today I nailed it down. I got up, I didn't start as early as I wanted to, but I got it done, it's, it's noon and I'm done for the day, you know, for my workouts. Anyway. So now, you know, I'm feeling great, I'm feeling refreshed. I wasn't all that impressed with my numbers because I've been lazy in the past couple weeks, things haven't been consistent, so therefore my overall strength has faded a little bit. Uh, I'm picking back up and now I'm just, I'm going at this and now that I have this total realization, I'm going to take control of what's going on, of, of how I'm, I'm handling myself today and what my habits are. So I'm going to switch that up a little bit. You know, it's really, honestly, as much as you want to get up, for me, I like to eat in the morning, it's really better if you just get up, do your workout, get it done. I, I, again, it's easier to say than do, but if you do it, get your workout done, then shower, eat breakfast, whatever. You know, you can get up and have your coffee and do your workout. That way you'll, you know, you'll, for me anyways, it pops me right up and I'm ready to go. But it's the eating part and then I just start getting lazy and pushing stuff off. So you need to understand, look at your habits, look at what you're doing. If you're not doing your workouts, if you can't keep up, if you're not staying consistent, you need to look at what you are doing in your very own life and then move it around, adjust it and do what you have to do. There's certain things you can adjust. Maybe you have a specific job where you have certain hours at nine to five, so you can't really adjust anything from nine to five, but you can adjust everything from before and after. You have control of how you react to all the situations that happen in your life. You do not have control of life, but you have control of the reactions you have in life. And that's how you take control of the things and, and how things unfold in your life. So do what you need to do. Understand that you are the one in control. It's not your friends, it's not your family. They have nothing to do with the fact that you're not doing your workouts. My friends and my family have nothing to do with the fact that I've been missing my workouts. It is simply and completely me. So I've gained control. I've decided that you know I saw what my faults were and now I'm taking control of that. So even if you miss some workouts, even if you fall off completely, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you pick up and that you continue, that you figure out where, you know, where your faults are and then from there you adjust and you do what you need to do to get it done. That is the important thing. So if you're sitting there and you know you've done half a workout, you only had a halfway through P90X, but you kept falling off, why have you been falling off? Think about it. Look back. Why? What is the reason? What is the cause? It's most likely just simply because you lost some motivation here and there. Okay, so you lost some motivation. Why did you lose motivation? What do you need to do to stay motivated? Do it, all right? And, and that's it. You know, what happened? Maybe some things adjusted in your life. Readjust your workout schedule. You need to readjust how you react to your thoughts and the situations. I understand being tired. I understand being lazy. It happens to every single human being, but it's how you take control and how you react in all those situations and in that situation that makes you a stronger person and makes you, you know, fit. It's, it's not, it's a lot of work, it's hard. You know, it sucks sometimes. But the thing is, it's, the reward is so great when you get it done. And that is the most important part, that you get it done. So that is my message to you, uh, is just do it. You know, realize what's going on in your life, kind of step back and look at it kind of from a third person view, from an eagle's eye view. Just look at what you're doing. Look at the thoughts that you're thinking. Why are you missing workouts? Why are you not getting stuff done? Why are you not bringing it as much as you want to? Think about it, look at it, and do what you need to do to react accordingly, to fix it. That's it, reach out sometimes, talk to people, do what you need to do, take pictures, write a journal. What I really like to do, I'm gonna leave you on that.